Hello everybody. I know it's been a while on Reality Is, but so much has happened since the last time I was on here. Um, recently there was a shooting in Dallas. <clears throat> uh, five police officers lost their lives uh, as a result of the two black men who were killed, Alton and Philando. And I don't advocate killing. I just don't. I just it's not your life to take. And I, I've said this on my Facebook. I said on my Twitter. Nobody has a right to take a life. But we have to stand up. We don't need to, you know, fight fire with fire. There's a way to fight without killing people. And what has been happening is spun out of control because nobody, not our judicial system, has took a step up to prosecute those police officers who has taken lives is not theirs to take. The sad part to all of this is the innocent police officers suffer with the bad police officers. Now I understand the conversation of fear. I get that. Um, who's not fearful of something? But training comes into play if somebody tell you they're going to get something, you still have no right. When you shoot more than one time, you shooting with the intent to kill. Our judicial, our judicial system sucks. Our politicians are not doing what they need to do. Uh, a lot of people want Obama to step in, but I say this and I'll say this again. You bypass your aldermans. Your state representatives, your committee men, your congressmen, your senators, your mayor, and your governors. They have accountability as well. And every state, I'm sure, there is a police department. They do have cap meetings. And every alderman gets a report of the criminal activity that's going on. So you can't tell me they're unknowledgeable about what's going on. The problem is when it becomes the people in blue, now you want to create a law so if any black person shoot a white cop, it becomes a hate crime. That's unfair. Now, I know it happens, but that's unfair. So if you're going to cover one, then cover everybody else. On 2020 on Friday, one of the cops, they got their family and they did an interview. Now, I understand they want to talk about how great of a guy he was. And his life is gone and they're hurtful. The families are suffering because they have suffered a loss. But those two black men that lost their lives, their families suffered a loss too. But instead of seeing what type of men they was, what you do to the black men is you dig in their criminal background. That's not right. So if you're going to be fair, be fair across the board. Now, again, you don't have to kill to make your point. What you need to do is you need to let your voice be heard. Your voice is your vice. In every state, you need to call, text, stop using social media for crazy stuff and use it for something of value that has some substance. And then stop spending your money. The, the pocket is what will make a difference. They just shut down a mall because nobody shot. We just can start to petition and march and then bag off until the next time. And then for those who say it's a shame, it's a shame because it hasn't hit your door yet. But it has the potential to hit your door. And if you don't do something, it's going to hit your door. You have uh, fathers, uncles, brothers, cousins. Nobody has to have their life. It's a shame that it's snatched like that. You put people on the ground and you pull your gun out and you just shoot continuously. Something has to give. Everybody's fearful on both sides, but something has to change. No white person, no Chinese person, no Arab person is fearful of losing their life like black people. And why do black mothers have to have the talk with their black boys, with their husband? Why do we have to worry when their husband walk out the door or their son walk out the door to school that they potentially could not come back? Something needs to change. And we need to stop talking about it and do something about it. And for you preachers who are always popping up on TV when the camera is present, go take a back seat and stay there. Because you need people who's going to be on the front line continuously. And we all can play a part. We all can play because it affects everybody. It's too much hate. It's too much hate. And we need to replace it with something else. And that something else is love. That's all I'm saying. Something has got to give. 
If the justice system feel that it's important to cover the cops, then feel that it's important to cover the American citizen as well. We waste our time on some doggone transgender bathroom, and that is not important. Believe me when I say, and I don't have nothing against nobody. You've been peeing whatever you've been peeing all the time. So why all of a sudden it's a big difference? That's not important. What's important is these innocent people's lives that's being stolen. And then lastly, I'm going to say, we need to stop killing each other too. We need to stop it. You fighting over territory that don't belong to you. It's not yours. Life matters. Not just black life, all life. But it seems like the black lives is the one that's getting snuffed out the most. Y'all have a good one. Because see, this has really upset me the most. Good night.